Hi everyone, I'm Amy. Welcome to Garage Kettlebells. 10 pound kettlebell for me. Choose whatever you want for yourself. Also, allow yourself to have some space in whatever you're working in. We will be doing some walking lunges and you also need a wall. We're gonna be doing some wall sits and if you don't have a big space, it's okay. You can just go back and forth on your mat. Reminder, do a quick warm up stretch on your own and let's get started. Okay, everyone, remember, weight in the heels, not in your knees. 10 pound kettlebell for me. We're gonna do high reps. We're gonna go starting with straight out, squatting, thrusting. We're gonna do 20, this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, core is tight, eight, nine, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're just going to alternate our arms together and you drop an arm. 20 more here. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, twenty. Straight up. Four twenty. This is two. Three. Four. Five. Weight in those heels. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, one, two, this is a silly song, three, four, I thought my film man was whistling five because he loves to whistle, six, seven, eight, Nine. My legs and booty are very sore after kettlebells. Drop an arm together at the top for 20. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Getting some cardio in here. Ten. That's halfway. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and 20. Okay, flip your kettlebell upside down. High knees, pausing with a flexed foot for 20. This is two, three, four, neutral neck, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Triceps, twenty ups, one. Still the same thing with your knees, two, three. Nice control, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Whew. Toes angled out. Deep, if your body will allow you to, on the down. Even if you want to tap your kettlebell to the floor, do so. One arm, shoulder, shoulder up. This is two. We're going to do 15 on each side. Three. Keep, don't round the spine. Four. Five, work on your flexibility here. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, five more. You can do whatever you want with your left arm, one. I'm gonna shake mine out a second. Two, getting tired. Three. Four. Fifteen, switch. One. Two, squeeze those inner thighs together. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four. 15, keep your feet right where they are. Focus on flexibility still. We're gonna go up on the up, straight up with the kettlebell on the up of our body. For 15, really tighten up the upper back. One, two, three, four, five, Eight, nine, tummy is tight, ten, five more, one, two, three, four, Fifteen. Keep those legs right where they are. You're going to hold the kettlebell like this. We're going to do a bicep move. So you're going to curl the arm on the down. So it's going to look like this. Boom. Straight up. So you're getting bicep and shoulders and inner thighs. Core is tight. We're going to do ten on each arm. That's two. Three, be careful so the kettlebell doesn't hit you. Three. Four. Nice control, this is great wrist work. Six. Seven. Eight. 
nine, and 10, switch, one, hammer curl, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Now we can bring our legs together, shake them out. Whew. Okay, walking lunges with our kettlebells. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with left foot and we're going to place the kettlebell underneath our left hamstring, balancing up. Let me show you what I mean. Shoulders and chest back and up. Focal point, you're lunging, passing through. Balancing up. Act like you're on a balance beam. Lunging in between the inner right thigh. Balancing, I'm looking at something in my garage right now. Go as deep as you choose on these lunges. Balancing up. Turn. Now we're gonna lead with the right foot. Inner right thigh. Balancing up. On that balance up, give yourself a couple seconds. On the balance part. Last one. Nice work, everyone. Okay. We're gonna go straight up with the kettlebell. As we do kicks, alternating leg kicks out with a flexed foot. So balance beam, for time we're on that balance beam. Focal point, core tight, pausing, heel to toe. Please don't rush. Whoos, turn around, let's do it another, another walk, starting with right leg, ooh. You know what happened there is my core was loose. Keep that core tight and don't rush. Doing balance work, if you do it slow, it's not near as challenging. One more. Nice, okay, one arm shoulder press as we're doing high knees up. So you can do whatever you want with your left arm. I'm actually just gonna leave mine down. So, actually on this, have your toes in point. Still on that balance beam. Staying on right arm, not alternating, just alternating our legs. Shoulders and chest are back and up. Spine is straight. One more. Whew, I love it, switch. Hopefully you guys have room in your, in your, wherever you're working out to allow yourself to do this balance work. Tummy is tight. Ooh. 
One more. Okay, nice. Now I want you to go to your wall. I'm gonna go to my wall right over here. We're gonna keep the kettlebell. Biggest thing about a wall sit is having your hamstrings parallel to the ground, okay? If it's too challenging, it's okay. It's something that you can work into. Your back is flat up against the wall. Core is engaged. So right now my hamstrings are parallel. I'm just gonna raise up for 10. This is one, staying in a wall sit. Two, really pushing my back up against the wall. Three, four, the legs get fired up. Five, six, seven, whew, eight, push that back in. Nine, and 10, get yourself up, shake out the legs. We're gonna do 10 more movements with the kettlebell, but instead of up, we're gonna go out. It's a lot more challenging. It really gets the shoulders. So back into wall sit, hamstrings, do your best. I'm parallel to the ground. Okay, 10 outs. One, elbows are up. Two, push that back in, three. Four, five, six, seven, neutral neck, eight, uh, nine, and 10. Shake it out. Okay, it's had a vision. Wall lunges. I don't know if any of you guys have ever done wall lunges. Right foot is gonna go back. Have your foot flush up against the wall. Sometimes it, when I personal train, sometimes people are like, oh my God, it kills my toe, Amy. So if you have to do this versus this, do what works for you. Right foot's gonna be back. Straight up and straight down. We're gonna focus on triceps here. So on the up of the lunge and go deep. We're gonna do 10. We have each, we're gonna then switch sides. Two, slow. Three, this really isolates the, isolates the legs. Four. Five, it's also great flexibility work. Six. Seven. Eight, challenge yourself. Nine. And 10. The leg that was in front, you should have really felt it up into your hip flexor all the way down. The leg that was back really should have felt it in your glute. Okay, switch legs. Same thing. Get comfy. Kettlebell, remember, it goes up on the up of the lunge. One, core is tight. I'm actually, also have a focal point. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, ooh, eight, nine, ten. Oh, back to your mat. Okay, we're gonna do side lunge. We're gonna step out with our right foot. Just like this. Okay, so we are bent. Right knee is bent, left leg is straight. You're gonna act like you're sitting back in an invisible chair with your right glute, and then you're gonna come up just like this, but. You notice the right leg does not come tight. You just go a little bit deeper with the bend of the right knee and then come up. The right knee still stays bent. Very controlled movement. Okay, from here, eight more. One. Weight back in that right glute. Two. Three. Four. Please don't drop your chest, five. 
and don't rush. Six. Seven. My right leg is quivering. This is eight. Nice. Okay. Now, right leg is bent. I mean, left leg is bent, sorry. Sitting back in the invisible chair with our left glute. Up on the up. Sitting back. Remember, you never, ever straighten the left knee. We're gonna do 10. We did eight on the other side, because I already did a couple before I said eight. This is three. It's really isolating the left quad, four. Oh, six, seven, breathe through it, eight, nine, and 10. Wow, shake those legs out. We're gonna work on our waist. Core is really pulled in and engaged. Flexibility, also have your feet wide. Slight bend in the right elbow, and we're just gonna stay on the right side, or leaning over towards the left for eight. So every time you go down, try to go down a little bit deeper, two. Three. Four. Five, if the right arm is getting tired, just drop it. It's fine. Six, just don't drop the kettlebell, just hold your arm down. Eight, two more. Tummy is tight. I'm gonna see if I can touch the floor on this one. Only if it feels right. Whew, nice, 10 more. Whew. This side's gonna be harder. Whew. Ease into it. Okay, core is tight. 10, one, two, Three, slight bend in the left elbow. Four. Five. Six. Seven, really keep the core tight. Eight. Nine, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to touch the ground. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, try, try. I'm gonna bend the right knee so I can. And that's also a modification. Nice work, everyone. On our backs, kettlebell. Whew. Whew. I have a nice sweat going. Squish, squish, squish the back into the mat. Actually, let's have our feet off the mat, squishing the back. You can do whatever you want with your left arm. I'm pushing my left hand into the mat. We're gonna focus on chest. We're gonna do 15, one arm chest press, two, engage in that core. Three, four, five. Try to keep your body as still as you can, except your arm, that was six. Seven, tightening up your chest. Eight, nine, 10, five more, one, Two, three, four, five. Now from here, keep the arm up. We're gonna keep the left hand on the mat to give us some momentum. You're gonna give your hips up. We're gonna roll into a V-sit, holding it for 15 seconds with our kettlebell up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Modification is to just sit up straight, have your heels on the mat, it's okay. Same thing, other side, 15 with the left arm, chest, one. Really still with your body except your arm, two, three, Four, when you go into that V-sit, make sure you're really engaging in your core. Five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, 10, one, two, three, four. Okay, here we go. This is 15, arm stays up, hand on the mat, hips up, roll up, focal point, core tight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, and fifteen. Roll back down. Nice work. Kettlebell is above your head. Both hands are on the kettlebell. Leg lifts. Slow. Squish, squish, squish the back into the mat. We're going to do 15. This is two. Make sure you're breathing. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Engage in the tummy, that's 10. Five more. One. Two. Three. Four. 15, okay, legs down. Kettlebell is gonna go back above our heads and we're gonna do like bicycle legs as, so right now we're gonna start with the left knee is bent, right leg is long, just like this. So get like that and then we're gonna come in with the kettlebell. So the right knee is gonna come in every single time that we bring the kettlebell in, really squishing the, back into the mat. Okay, 12 more from here. This is one. Once again, if you're feeling the back squishy, push it down or don't have the leg as low. Three. Four. It's great for the hip flexor on the right leg. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now the right knee is going to come in. Left leg is long. So then every time we bring the kettlebell up, the left. The left knee is gonna be in. I hope I did this right. Ooh, yes I did. Sometimes it's really hard to remember. Okay, this is one, we're gonna do 10. So now the opposite knee is coming in than it did last time, two. Squish, squish, squish that back. And engage in the core, three. Also, make sure you're not holding your breath, four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Slowly roll up. We're gonna do one more move here. Sitting up straight. Hardest part about this is just sitting here really straight. We're gonna hold the kettlebell upside down and we're gonna do, we're gonna keep the core really tight, flex it, suck it in, and we're just gonna twist. Keeping the feet flexed and sitting up nice and tall. 
All right, here we go. Watch the kettlebell as you turn it. Engaging in those muscles in the tummy. 10 more turns, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Thank you all for showing up today and giving yourself love. My heart to your heart as always. I'm enjoying this series so far. Many workouts are gonna be done in this garage, which actually it's, it's cold now where I live, getting cold. Sometimes in the house it's like boiling. So the garage is actually was really a nice treat because it was a little bit cooler. So please let me know what you thought of the workout and also subscribe if you've not subscribed. Tell your friends in the world about Amy's Beach Fitness. Um, I want to influence everyone I can, anyone I can and everyone I can. So um, I will see you soon and have a great self-care day. Bye.